Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Border City Rock Talk. We get great news, great interviews, great interviewees, and sometimes a comedic touch. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and please comment so that I know if you think my interviews are good or they suck. <laughs> going to be good today it'll be great today yes uh today i've got two stellar individuals in the rock scene from vixen and uh, madam x i've got the Petru petrucci sisters maxine and roxy how are you doing girls we're great doing great mm -hmm. we're having a good time already <laughs> oh well look at that that is awesome um <laughs> i've already buggered something up i wanted to do Jesus Murphy. Anywho, I can't do it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> See, <laughs> this is the way it's going to roll. I'm just going to let it go like this. Okay. That's um, right. Yeah, just ad lib and stuff. So, um, t thanks for taking the interview. I inter interviewed Chris a while back about the okay. new Adam X album, and then I contacted Maxine, and you're gracious enough to say, Yeah, you come on for an interview with your sister. But mm -hmm. she was on tour with Vixen. So um, now that that's over, we can talk a bit. Um, how far, how much further in the process with the Madam X album are you, are you guys? I know he said it's going to be next year, but have you done any more writing or? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I, in a couple of weeks, I go and record the guitars for uh, one of the songs. Oh. So um, and then in November, you're going to put in drums we're, we're just doing it with a, like remotely hey, well yeah and I have some time off so I told them November mm -hmm. I'm gonna be here so let's get some stuff done so I yeah. think I'm gonna get new photos and I'm gonna mm -hmm. lay down some drum tracks and she's it's gonna, gonna be a great album yeah it's gonna it really sounds great yeah for yeah. sure I, I can't wait for it. the last one was uh 2017 right monstrosity yeah yeah monstrosity monstrosity yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's the Canadian accent. We forget the S's, so. <laughs> <laughs> and you're yeah. not too far from us, too. Um, right. I've been to Detroit a few times. Actually, you want to hear a funny story? I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Are you guys living in Detroit right now or Rochester? Or? Yeah. yeah, Rochester area, yes. Mm -hmm. North okay, Detroit. you know what U UFC is, right? Have what? UFC, MMA, Ultimate Fighting. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so... First one I went was when they were they really had no no rules. It was almost like lions in a in a den <laughs> against people. Oh. It was pretty vicious. So I went oh. to Global Hall and I'm oh. in Detroit. <laughs> you hear all the rumors, right? And so we're two uh well there's about four of us uh nerdy 19-year-old kids. We go to Cobo Hall to see this, and I see the fight. Holy fuck. There was more fights in the stands. Than there was in the octagon because um, the Budweiser was just flowing. So I was I was happy to be I was happy to get it alive. To be honest. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it sounds like Detroit. Sounds like backstage at a Madam X show. <laughs> oh yeah. wow! Sure. Oh. Right. And, and they're in Canada. We did remember. Yeah, we did. That's, That's when the band broke up. Uh, getting, getting close to. I think we had enough of each other. We have to blame Canada for the. Breakup of Madam X. Yeah, that marriage was dissolving. <laughs> well, you know what? The truth is, our beer is better and stronger. So that's what did it. You guys are used to water. <laughs> that's what did it. I think, did you throw a beer at me or a shoe? No, um, I threw a shoe at you. I, I always come with punches. Yeah, she. <laughs> I always come with punches. Um, we were all fighting. And that's when our sound man, Mike uh, Heffron, uh, could hear it. And, and the door was locked at the dressing room. And he's like, eh, you guys, eh, eh, he's banging on the door, banging, banging. And then the door fell through. He and fell the door. Yeah, well, the door just fell and he fell through it. You know, well, he was, know, he was on drunk. top of it, I should say, but he was drunk on your Canadian <laughs> beer. Canadian beer. That's how strong it is. He, yeah. yeah. <laughs> where, where was this? Where was this in Canada that we can owe this not very good breakup? Where, where in Canada were you guys? Uh, Chris would know. Yeah, Chris. Would... Uh, he always remembers everything. Was it uh, an outdoor? Was it outdoor show? No, no, no. Was it Toronto? Or I, yeah, I don't see, remember. See, Kitchener. Kitchener sounds familiar. Kitchener, uh, Waterloo, and then there's Windsor is close in London and, and Toronto. It wasn't so. Windsor. Was it Windsor? Yeah, you'd know Windsor because you guys probably go to Windsor a lot. Like, I mean, I think it was a Kitchener thing or something. It was somewhere up 
All right, Chris, if you're watching, call in. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, is, so is those better. Southern Ontario Canadians, they're all whacked anyway. So, yeah, we just with them because we're they, they say we're so far up north, but technically we're south of our um, capital of the country, Ottawa, which is north. Huh. But they just want to embarrass us because we're a smaller <laughs> population. So anyways. <laughs> We talked to, when I talked to Chris, it was funny about Caesar the Bear. Oh, yeah. I remember. That, I mean, that was so funny. It just brought back memories of Yogi Bear and the bear on the Simpsons. And... Yeah. <laughs> Real life, right? Real life Yogi Bear. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because I remember seeing, uh, going and seeing at, um, I was just digressing about going to the tumble in and seeing, I think Vince Neal and Slaughter played there. And it oh, was yeah. just amazing. Good concerts. Yeah. And Dixon played we, there. Yeah. Well, we yeah. And Dixon played there. Yeah, for sure. Well, I would hope. Yeah. That was a great uh, rock venue. It really yeah. was. And the thing is that there's nobody lives around there. So mm -hmm. you're, you're looking at the club going, who's going to show up? Cause it's literally in the middle of nowhere. I remember Warren loved it. I remember Janie Lane. He goes, I love it here. I love this. Well, as soon as yeah, they right. have the rock show, then you see all the snowmobiles outside mm -hmm. and everybody. Yeah. yeah. And I remember that people. too. I was thinking like, where are these people? Are we, is it, are we, are we being set up to be robbed? <laughs> we're <laughs> three, three hours from Canada. A <laughs> bunch of, uh, you know, nerdy. Uh, well, I wasn't a nerd. I'm just trying you know to. You know what I remember, that. by the way, over at the Tumble Inn, we had a chance to have the band Tragically Hip. And that oh, was yeah. But but we didn't know who they were, and we didn't think they would do well. And I remember everybody saying, they're the biggest, best thing in Canada. And we're like, don't know who it is. See, well, and, well, anyway, my, my husband, he loves Tragically Hip, so he plays it all the time, so I became familiar with it. You yeah. know, and it's really great. They're their own thing. And, you know, sad about the lead singer. Uh, yeah. Just a big band. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, the hip is kind of like... Um... A cult band like i like a lot of the hip stuff you know rest in peace Gord downey um but i wasn't a huge hip fan but it does have a cult following yeah big time i had no idea yeah but it was um fun. yeah so be in there and mm -hmm. rick derringer and his band loved it mm -hmm. oh yeah Remember he played he um hurting preacher <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we we played him the uh, the YouTube of uh, uh, farting preacher, the band, and they were laughing so hard they were throwing their bodies across the bar, running, couldn't get, trying to catch up with laughter. They couldn't get over it. It was outrageous. That was funny. Where was that? At the Tumble Inn. Okay, they, because we, Rick also band. played um, across from the back door. Oh yeah. There was an underground bar there. I forget what it was called. Um, probably I forget because they had like 30 cent shooters. <laughs> Everybody we, forgot we, the name of that bar. Hollywood Cafe that we had also, and Rick Derringer and Vixen, everybody played there too. And that was yeah. right in Sault Ste. Marie. Didn't you have Ted Nugent? Ted yeah. Nugent. Yeah. Nugent open. came there. He opened up one of the bars and he brought out his compound bow. And... Yeah, the grand opening outdoors. Yeah, that was yeah. that was pretty incredible. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um Speaking of the Petrucci sisters, I just found out something. You are related to John, a distant relative. We are? No, I don't know. Maybe we could be. I mean, Petrucci is a popular name in Italy. It's, it's oh, kind of, well, whoever but, I re whoever I read this from, I'm going to send you the quote, and you can sue them. And I want a bit of the money because it looks like they they oh, quoted you girls or one of you. No, we, we we could be related. We don't no, you know. Maybe no, distant, distant. No, but... I think somebody made a mistake because uh, John Petrucci's wife isn't she? She has what's her name? Doesn't she have an M name? Yeah, Mrs. Petrucci. What is it? Mrs. Petrucci. No, <laughs> that's for sure. Well, she, hey, oh. What's her name? She was a musician and she right. played in the band. She's got an odd name too. Oh, so well. they probably thought that. I don't they messed up they somehow. think there's a relation they always ask me is he your husband is he your brother is he your cousin is he you know, Maxine's husband or yeah you know there's always yeah. some sort of and, and the like, fact that we're musicians they really think we are but like, when I was in Rome this is years ago I opened the telephone book back then when they had that yeah. that was in like 95 and I looked up the name Petrucci and it was pages and pages of it <laughs> yeah it's like people think uh, Petrucci is uh rare like 
in, in like in the Sioux here, we have a high population demographic of Italians. So, you know, there'd be 30 pages of Cacciamilios. You'd be like, hey, do you know Joe? <laughs> 30 pages. That's yeah, funny. Do you know Joe? Yeah, well, every Cacciamilio's name is Giuseppe. So, I mean, <laughs> but no, I, I thought you guys were related. Um, so, anyways, yeah. We've met. Yeah, we've we've met. He's, he's talented too. Oh my God, he's killer! Incredible. He's oh, kind yeah. of quiet. He's like, uh huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but it, he does all his talking on the guitar. Yeah, so some musicians are like that, right? I mean, you get somebody that, um, for instance, um, Steve Vai to me. I mm -hmm. haven't interviewed him yet, but he looks like, and I've seen him in interviews. He likes to talk. And then there's I, other interview yeah. or other people that don't like to be interviewed. But when they do get interviewed, they're, you know, they'll answer your question politely and then on to the next one, right? Yeah. yeah. They're not like you guys and me, like we got the gift of gab. Well, it's an <laughs> Italian thing. Italians like to talk and they like to talk loud and laugh. Yeah, well, I'm Italian too. I just go by Skinner, but it's actually oh. Skinneretti. Oh, but of course. <laughs> no, <it's> Skinneretti. <laughs> that sounds like Skinnerectia. Skinnerectia. <laughs> Like That's a bad actor for that. That's bad. <laughs> oh my goodness! You guys are awesome. So, well, it's like um, our last name, really, it's Petruski. Poland, a... you know, to go with your uh, Skinnerectomy, Petruski. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a Skinnerectomy. <laughs> That's what I said. You need to go to the doctor for that. Oh my goodness! Well, healthcare was free in my country, but we're going downhill pretty quick. Oh uh, no. Oh man, it's sad here. Oh, I mean, oh, it's not so great here either. No, it's not. Well, do you have censorship on your uh, Facebook? Sure, yes. Okay, no, we have literal censorship in Ontario and Canada. If I were to post something from, say, CNN or Fox News, mm -hmm. it's going to come up. And literally, I'm not joking. I've interviewed people and showed them a screenshot. It says this cannot be um, published as per Canadian legislation. And they're doing it. They're doing Ooh. it in Britain as well. They're trying to pass that law. That's no good. Wow. Yeah. So I, you guys don't have it as bad as we do that way. I know that there's censorship. We have a form of it. Yeah. yeah that's scary. They watch and then they'll just delete or they'll give you a, a warning. Yeah, the warning, right? Yeah. If you say something that's intelligent, uh, you get deplatformed. If you're a good doctor, you say something that they don't like. Bye bye. All your all your uh, awards are gone. <laughs> mysteriously are available. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's insane. So, are you guys, whose house are you guys at? Pardon me. Whose place are you at? Yeah, you yours, uh, Roxy, or no. down, well, downstairs by my drum set. I don't know if you can see it. There's yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, you guys are at your place. It's it's kind of a mess. It's not yeah, no, not my place. But... Well, that's what I'm saying. So we're at we're at the interviews we're being at held Roxy's. at Roxy's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it's if this was a, a night interview, it would be a night at the Roxy. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Clever man. Ooh, that's a good you one. know what? When I don't get enough sleep, I tell you, I come up with zingers. I would them if I wanted to release really A night at the Roxy. Just drums. I like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe a solo album. <laughs> come on. Yeah, I'll play clarinet and I'll play drums. There you go. <laughs> clarinet and drums. So yeah. with, um, with Vix and um when is the album coming out i know you just released uh, a couple singles i know red came out yeah there is no album right now it's just oh, a single because a lot of people are doing that they're yeah. releasing singles and that's the way to go because social media is so hard impatient. To get. <laughs> it's what it's impatient it's impatient yeah so people have so much on the go it's hard mm -hmm. for somebody to grasp a 12 track album so a lot of bands are releasing one and two singles, like Greta Van Fleet student. Mm -hmm. Don Dawkin just said he he's heard um, he just released two, and that's the way it's going. And actually, I got to uh, give you guys credit for the Vixen um, video. It looked like you guys are going back to like higher tech um, cameras and stuff. It was really shot very well, like almost like Doc like like Dawkins was. He said. They spent a good amount of change on it. The label covered it. But you guys had a few shots on top of a building with um, a, a skyline yeah. behind you? Yeah. And, uh, but, but we don't have a label. We did this all ourselves. Um, but we just hired a good director, Drew Johnston and Vince Cordoba. 
And okay. um, they had some high tech cameras, and luckily yeah. it didn't cost a shit ton of money. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it was a good amount of money, but not like it was in the '80s where oh, we spent, God. you know, the record company spent eighty to hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars just on uh, a Harmon's good, Love video. That's a Don <laughs> said. He said when he found that out, he said, "I would, I just went and bought a, a studio." <laughs> yeah, a yeah. Grand. Yeah. yeah. So, so we did a couple location shots. We did went downtown LA to a dilapidated building and went on the roof and shot the roof shots there See, those are awesome shots i i'm i'm not a videographer i just do video editing but i love a good shot like that and no, those shots are awesome and actually i gotta ask you a question um who was it that got on the motorbike lorraine oh, yeah you know who that guy re- recognized oh sean mcnab that Thanks, was sean mcnab for yeah. fuck's sakes yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask that. No uh, way. Yeah. See, I believe in stuff like um, um, algorithms and then algorithm of a mind. You know when you're walking in the mall and you see a silhouette of somebody just the back of their head, you haven't seen them since high, since high school, just the way they carry themselves, you're thinking, that looks like Giuseppe Cacciamilio. And then you see the <laughs> and yeah. it's them, right? So I thought that was Sean McNabb. Oh, yeah. That was Sean McNam. He lives in L.A. And uh, we gave him a call and said, can you stop by and bring your motorcycle? And he's like, for sure. Holy frick. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Pretty cool. That is awesome. So what are you guys doing, like, in your spare time um, right now? Like, what did you guys do last night? How about that? I did an interview last night. Yeah, so oh, that's, that's right. Yeah, I did an interview. Well, you're you're preparing for the real one tonight. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Not the real one. <laughs> you're doing a mock interview. <laughs> just you're. I'm I'm on Zoom with you. I wasn't with them. I just did. Um, phone or? Audio. Oh, audio. Yeah, I yeah. used to I used to do those, and I got to tell you, um, I credit my laziness to getting into video <laughs> editing and stuff because transcribing like even a 15 minute interview is insane because you don't want to get um the talent's words wrong so oh, you, right. you got to really be careful so i thought you know what this zoom thing is going to work out because if they bite their tongue it's not my skin off my back <laughs> right oh my god well we just talk over you so you you can hear what we're saying <laughs> oh but that's so good with him we're laughing he's making us laugh that's awesome. So, okay, so what did you do, Maxine? Did you watch her? <laughs> uh, no, I was I, I was supposed to chime in, right? I wanted you to because there were a yeah. couple things that I could have used your help. I just got so much other, you know, like home life stuff going on. Husband, house, garden, clean up the yard. That's more uh, important anyway. <laughs> got my mom's stuff, you know, just like living real life right now, too. What's the weather like in um, Detroit right now? Like today, it's about... 18 celsius which is i'll do the math it's about 58 60 degrees it's sunny what's it like you guys yeah, it's the same it's supposed yeah. to go around is it chilly 68 ish a little bit i like it like this i like the october weather i sleep better so yeah yeah, yeah keep that window open so and nice fresh air comes in yeah mm-hmm. it's nice. is it humid in rochester like it is in windsor in the winter what, in what? summer yeah mm-hmm. it is see i hate it's the humid weather yeah, good for big hair when mm-hmm. you got the humidity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I know yeah. it. It, it ju- does me wonders. I'm telling you. <laughs> <See> <laughs> so, any surprise guests on the on the Madam X um, album coming out? Anybody? Uh, as as, uh, musicians or or like Chris Laney, who's producing and co-writing. Is, is that okay. the question? We're the yeah, surprise. yeah, kind of like you know. Is, <laughs> yeah, we're surprised we're surprise. doing another album. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, we thought it was done after uh, you know done monst- after monstrosity. We're we like, always, okay, we yeah, always we're thought done. we were done. And it's yeah, like, well, you guys are young, healthy. Yeah. You take care of yourselves. Is there? And this is an honest question. Is there a chance that when that's released, um, there'll be some kind of a tour with Vixen? You both toured. Oh, oh, I would love that, Madam X and Vixen. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, because I, I there's a couple bands I think. Uh, well, Last in Line, you know, um, um, 
I mean, yeah, Vivian yeah. Campbell of Def Leppard, right? Oh, yeah. Well, he's got his solo band, uh, Last in Line, and I didn't even realize that they were doing originals. Like, I interviewed Andrew, and um, I think he said that they've done a few um, sets like that where Last in Line would open, and then, uh, you know, Viv would go play with Def Leppard for the rest of the night. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. No, wow. um, I would, myself, I would love that, because an hour show is a warm-up for me. So yeah, well, I've seen you drum. Yeah, I know. I I can't, I can't even. My eyes get tired watching. <laughs> well, they don't, but they do. You know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I, 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 I got it. <laughs> so yeah, I would be totally into that. And I I you know I I have the conditioning and the the drive to do that. So I'm in decent shape. I can handle it. Yeah. And so, how many hours a day do you uh, practice, uh, Max? Do you do you still play a lot of guitar? Well, yeah, I just released a single myself. So okay. is that um, is that on YouTube right now? It's um, yeah, it is, but I didn't do a video. It's just the song. Okay. It's, it's with uh, Andy Padalon. He's a guitar player from Sponge. He's singing. Oh, right, right. And uh, uh, Pat DeLeon, uh, Imminent Sonic Destruction. Yeah. It's a plug band. He's on drums. It's just us three. Right I, on. Is it? Where's it what? available? Oh, it's just every streaming service, you okay. know, Amazon, uh, Spotify, everything. It's just a single. I'm just going to put a bunch of singles out. Um, it's a great song. I love it. Yeah, throughout the time. And then when it <laughs> yeah. equals an album, I can throw them together and say, look, I have a new album. <laughs> hey, <laughs> because, have, like, here, here's, a, here's a compilation of greatest hits. Well, it yeah. won't be a compilation It'll to, to the world, um, all my hundred fans. It would seem like a new album. <laughs> oh, you've got more than a hundred fans, my dear. Come on, you know, man. Um, you know what is interesting? One of the first time. Well, I used to go to Saginaw for the Friendship Games. I don't know if you ever heard of those. Uh -uh. No. Okay, Sault Ste. Marie in Saginaw, Michigan, had what was called sister city kind of uh, camaraderie, where they would send athletes over every summer. So we go and play baseball, basketball one year in Saginaw. We get billeted by people from Saginaw. The mm -hmm. next year they would come to Sault Ste. Marie. So I remember going down to Saginaw and I was really into Chris and Pelletieri. I'm sure you've heard of him. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. Do you see him around? I, like, I mean, I've tried to get a hold of him, but I can't really find him. No. no. But I know he's playing. Well, what's up with that? Yeah, so he's um, maybe he's hiding out in uh, the Italian neighborhood in Detroit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> oh Detroit my god! Inside. But he had a great tune. Some well, he did yeah, some. Knows. He knows everything. Everybody. He's what? Before you ask Chris Dalber, he'll find him for you. Oh yeah, Chris is good. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> he's <laughs> funny. Uh, his story he told me about what happened on stage. I mean, that was just that was just that was a spinal was tap moment with the towel. Yeah, that was a spinal tap moment. No, he, it was funny because it, uh, it was during the live show. It was in, I think it was Colleen, Texas, Texas. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, it wasn't uh, very it wasn't very was clean at the end, but you know I know. Yeah, he yeah. had the story. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just know when he told me and I, I, I he came while he was playing bass, he goes, I just did this. And I'm like, oh God, you know, playing, we're still playing. And uh and then we saw Randy our, our roadie pick up the towel, wipe his face, and that's when we all hit the floor. <laughs> we were playing and we hit the floor, we're on our knees laughing so hard. It was, it was unbelievable. Well you know <laughs> you know they're doing another spinal tap movie, right? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That yeah. would be I mean, great to see. I, I messaged Harry Shear because I'd interviewed him once or twice before and try to get uh, some more information because uh, I talked to Paul Shartino. He wanted to be in it again. But anyways, um, the producer got back to me and kind of said, you know, they're not doing interviews right now. But I told him, you know what, a good, well, I was, I should have led into like, you got to, you got to check out what happened to Chris Dolliver. I mean, this would be a great <laughs> scene. So, but what I told him was, Apparently, the premise of the movie, I don't know if you're aware, is going to be the band doesn't get along. There's one last request by the late, um, I forget um, their manager at the time, but he's passed away. But he had one request that was in the contract that they had to fulfill, and it was going to be another show. So they have to get together with all their egos. They haven't talked in years, which is par for the course in a lot of bands. 
And I said, you know what you got to do? And I said, I want to patent parent this if, if you do it, but they're not going to do it. I said, have scenes where you can see the upper bodies of the guys and they're all talking either their wives or their agents and saying, yeah, I'll go in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the show. But I'm not fucking flying with them. I'm not going to talk to them. And that's it. And then the next thing you know, their nurses are wheeling them in onto the oh, stage. No. Oh, oh, no. oh, boy. That's I like think that would be classic. And then there was that one scene oh, where Derek, got, when Derek <laughs> Smalls got caught in the pod that didn't open. Uh-huh. Well, his wheelchair didn't work because he had the brakes on it. So his nurse kept <laughs> throwing, <pushing. laughs> That's brilliant, actually. Yeah. That's great. That would be very funny. Yeah, I, I got a lot of zingers. They're just not making me money. So, I mean, no. it's all well, good. A um, couple okay. more quick things. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, have you talked to Julia lately, Roxy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you tell her you're coming on my show? No. Okay. <laughs> you're going to show you something. Um, we had a little bit of a disagreement. I uh, had booked uh, an interview with her. And then she she rearranged her schedule. This is last year, right? And I had to book. She was so pissed. <laughs> yeah, because I'd interviewed Richie too, eh? And I was looking forward to it. So um, where is it here? Oh, Just you don't want to mention her. Pardon? <laughs> I was just hoping you can. Uh, you want um, me to speed that over for you? Yeah. So this is what um, I got. Please give me another chance. Oh, that's oh, wow. cute. And and then over here, if you can see this, this is what, <laughs> this is when this is when we were getting along, and she had the tattoo of me on the guitar. Oh. <laughs> that's not true. But yeah, you know, just let her let her know I am really sorry, and I'd like to still do the interview, but. You know, I know she's busy and, you know. She's busy, but Julia's got a great sense of humor and, and um, she she's the real deal and, and she'll tell you like it is. You know, tell, Oh, yeah, she did. <laughs> she there's, did. There's no, yeah, there's no pretentious anything no. about her. So. She was I busy. haven't met her yet, so I don't know. Pardon me? I haven't met her yet. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. But I will, will try to butter her up for you. Oh, man. <laughs> Good. Just... Just let her watch the interview. Just maybe she'll laugh and she'll figure, okay, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Tell, uh, I'll let her even pick on me for a while. Oh, and, and she probably will. <laughs> and she'll probably talk to you in Portuguese, too, and you won't know what the hell she's saying. No, no. Uh, entiendo, hablo espanol. No, oh, Portuguese, no, no Portuguese. No Portuguese, no Portuguese uh, pero uh, un poquito uh, hablo espanol. But I understand... Oh. Portuguese is, isn't even close to Spanish, but some Portuguese people, like she's from Brazil, right? So yeah. some of it's similar. And I guess a lot of people in Brazil are fluent in Spanish, but Portuguese is so much different. I, I understand. Well, actually, when she does speak it, I can pick out words here and there and I'll say, is this what you're saying? And, you know, is this that word? And she'll go, yep, yep. So there are some similarities with the Spanish and then Italian, because we're Italian, yeah. I can hear it. Yeah, well, you know what? Tell her I speak fluent Portuguese. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You you ladies have been so awesome. Um I've uh is there anything else um you want to um promote? Like, I mean, you don't need any promotion. Everybody knows who you are and, and your music and stuff. Um, are you guys doing anything on the side? Are you guys doing any, you know, local shows, just you know, acoustic or whatever and drums or well, we do have a, a side project called uh, VIP After Show, where we will um, connect with other musicians like Mark Slaughter, and we recorded a song called Kilmister. That was a few years ago, but um, when yeah, Maxine Full Metal and, Jacket also. Full Metal Jacket. Actually, I got to, I'm oh, sorry, I, I interrupt a lot just because I, I care. It's, okay. it's pronounced Slafter. His name is Mark Slafter. Mark, okay. <laughs> Mark, Mark Slafter. Slafter. Mark Slafter. <laughs> Maxine. Love it. Petruski. And Roxy <laughs> Petrucci. <laughs> and Ernest Skinnerectomy. And Ernest Skinnerectomy. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you've got that going on. That's great. Yeah. And then, and, you know, little side projects. I do my own little solo project on my own. And uh, we have uh, the number one is the Madam X album coming out. And we're going to go record in November uh, a few more songs and we should be done real soon. 
And the album's a, a, a great rocker, melodic, very melodic. And it, uh, it's a yeah. mixture, a kind of. Well, all, all three albums heavy, are different. Still have yeah. like monstrosity, but but campy, like um, high in high school and the original Madame X, Come On, Come All, and you know those mm -hmm. fun, hard, heavy. Yeah, songs yeah, that, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, mm -hmm. do you think that's going to be released um, in what January, February? Oh gosh, I, I don't. I don't know. At maybe that point, spring? Maybe I think spring? it'll be up to like Chris Laney. You know, he's the one that's producing, and um, yeah, you know, you know what? It is all about timing. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so when we feel ready to drop it, we will, mm -hmm. and then hopefully we do a video too. Yeah, that's a plan. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that you should rush something just to get it out there. No, no. Um, especially a full album. And, and yeah, you know, Matt, it took us thirty-five. How many years <laughs> to do monstrosity? Yeah, so you know, but we didn't know we were going to do that. All of a sudden, we came together for Sweden Rock back in 2014, and then we decided, like, hey, let's do an album. Well, you and know what, though, just um, going back in the earlier part of the conversation, maybe drop a single. That's what I've been saying. That's how long we have? I've been saying we should just drop a single first, yes. and then you know. So uh, you know, I don't know. We're and as Don, as Don was saying too, Don, um, I'm giving Don him Don. a lot of props here, but he said, you know what? You drop a single. If it slows down, you drop another single. Yes. And That's so you're always having the attention rather than shooting the album out. And then once. everybody forgets it. Yeah. 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 Then you take all those singles and you put them together at the end of whatever you put it. You then you drop an album and a, maybe a well, vinyl. He, yeah. He's just saying drop one uh, a single at a time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Then you take all those. That well, you, the album will already be done anyway. So what? You throw it all Here together and everybody gets it together. Yeah. With a vinyl. Oh yeah. You guys vinyl. aren't going to get the scrap on my show, are you? Get the what? You guys aren't going to get in a scrap on the show, are you? <laughs> 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 He's wishing we would. Um, uh, no, we're not no. supposed to say anything to each other. God, we've known each other for a hundred years. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know, we've been through a together lot. the whole. Oh my god. Oh man, <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are awesome. You guys are so fun. Um, question: What is the opposite of unsubscribe? Subscribe. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, everybody. Um, as <laughs> the great Churchy sisters say, for these great, entertaining, lively, fun, quirky, and nerdy interviews by me. Um, favorite Canadian band or artist, and don't say Rush. <laughs> everybody says Those Rush. Two dwarfs. Yes. Yes. I'm, Big Wreck. I, sorry. Big Wreck. Big Wreck. Yeah. Um, I brought the Killer Dwarfs uh, while well, I helped promote a show up here with Russ and Jerry. And yeah, you know what? I think they're one of the most underrated hard. Like you got Helix. I liked Helix, right? Yeah. Yeah. But the Killer Dwarfs were to me, and they still are. They're so musically, uh, even with their first guitar player, Michael Michael Hall with Keep the Spirit Alive and all that stuff. I mean, Killer Dwarfs kick ass. Oh, yeah. Triumph is really good, too. And Triumph. Yes. Yes. So yes. I loved the Us Festival. Oh, yeah. When they did that um, in front of what? Like uh, half of the Us Festival. God, it was so good. It was like a million people or something? Oh, yeah, a million people. Yeah. Speaking you know, of I got to see, too, I, I love Sass mm -hmm. Jordan. I love Oh, her yeah. Voice. Sass. And what about Lee Aaron? She was really Lee good. Aaron, yeah. Yeah, she's great. Oh, and too. Chrissy Steele. Oh, Chrissy yeah, right. Steele. And there's a new singer right now. I forget her name. Her name is Rosa, and she's uh she's singing for the headpin. She's about hmm. maybe 30, and she just got signed on for TSO, Trans uh, Siberian Orchestra. Oh, yeah. What's her name? Um Rosa something. I'll uh, I'll I'll message it to you when I think of it, but hmm. she's great. Wow. Yeah, a lot of great uh -huh. Canadian. There's a lot of mm -hmm. talent in Canada. It's They're just, very melodic. Lenita Erickson. Yeah, Lenita was Lenita, great. Lenita was great. I'm, su I'm surprised you didn't say bring up Sebastian Bach. Yeah, he was in Mavic um, X. Oh, I saw the hair, too. I mean, I couldn't even fit it in a picture. <laughs> Sebastian Bach is from Toronto, yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, the only thing we have here that sucks is our politicians. Yeah. <laughs> it's like everywhere. everywhere. Gosh. Oh man. Everybody I'm, we I'm should just decent, just all sing and get along. Yeah, it's I don't know. But what? You no, I where? just I just played Canada not that long ago in New Brunswick. 
Yeah, that okay. Where did you play New Brunswick? Because it's a small province. Uh, um, I don't remember. Oh, oh <laughs> I don't no. remember the name of the venue, but it was really very cool. A lot yeah. of people too. You they love rock and roll. I'm trying to think and of the Moncton, city. Moncton. Moncton. Yes. 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 Yeah, Moncton's. Um, see, I've been, I've been down to South America. I've been to Mexico a dozen times. I've never been out east in Canada farther than Montreal, I think. I played Cape, Cape Breton for the International Drum Festival. Oh, yeah, that, oh was, my God. that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. You've seen more of my country than I have. <laughs> it's a beautiful country. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I get to just check it out more. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, the last thing. Bringing up the Triumph thing was really interesting because I interviewed Joey Belladonna of Anthrax yesterday. Mm-hmm. And he's singing on it. Triumph is releasing a tribute album. I didn't realize that. I knew that uh, they released their documentary. But oh, great. Uh, they're releasing a tribute album. I believe Sebastian sings on it. And wow. Joey Maldonna sings on it. And a couple other ones. So it's quite interesting mm -hmm. you brought up Triumph. Uh, and only 24 hours ago, I found this out. So. Oh, wow. that's very cool. It's a glinky well, dig. Love to check that out. Yeah, I used it as clickbait. <laughs> Joy Belladonna sings on new Triumph album. And people are like, Triumph's not having an album. And if they are, Joey's oh. singing on it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah very good. cool. Very cool. Perfect. Well, Amanda Max has a record out too. Mm -hmm. Coming out. All original members. Brett Kaiser, yep. Caliber, Maxine Petrucci, Roxy Petrucci. Yeah. All original. Which you don't kick see ass album. Anymore. You know what you guys should do before that's... Um, released if you want i did this for vandenberg and it, it was they think it was a great idea adrian vandenberg's new album really kicks ass and what i did was they sent me um the album and i took 15 seconds of each track maybe seven seconds and i looped them in with just different overlays of the lyrics and they thought that was a really good idea because that way it gives the people on youtube um a taste of the whole album yeah, yeah exactly we did right. a little bit of that with Monstrosity. Yeah. It's we almost took, like doing reels that way. Yeah, we you just took about parts. five or six songs for Monstrosity mm -hmm. to do the same thing. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. And that it, was work. It did. It, it did work. Mm -hmm. I mean, people were getting an idea of the songs. It's like, oh, I, I dig that. I mm -hmm. like that. I like that. Oh, I'm going to yeah. have to pick up the room. And people, like I said, like we said, they only we have short, short attention span. So if yeah. we're going to purchase an album, we kind of want it. Well, if, if we know who it, who it is, like Madame X and Vixen, We'll buy the album. We know what we're going to get. But for some of the newer bands, it's like, okay, we want to know what you're about before we're going to spend whatever on the album. Right. Sure. Gosh. Yeah. True story. Yeah. Yeah. For now, I'm I'm down with singles, releasing a single here and there. Me I'm too. That. It's a lot easier to do that. Right on. Um, I see your Bewitched shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, she wants to. Well, you both have Bewitched shirts. I know. <laughs> and we didn't even call each other. She walked in the door, and I'm like, oh, you're wearing your Lucy <laughs> shirt, too. We it's, did that, that with the Lucy shirts, too. It's a connect. I had a connect, Desi Lou, and you had I Love Lucy. We're yeah. just connected. You know, it's a sister thing. We can it, like, at together. Christmas, you guys have the same pajama outfits? A close. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we do is all... Uh, how many times have we showed up, and we had the same colors on? Or and something? we just finish each other's sentences. All and, the time with And that. that's from... First of all, there's not a big age difference, like two years. Mm -hmm. And we spent the majority of our young life on the road together. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're connected. Right well, thank you so much, ladies. It was a pleasure. I'll um, I'll put links to the websites uh, underneath the description box um, when I upload it. And I'm probably going to have this one edited and up probably tomorrow afternoon, and I'll send it to you. And, I'd like to thank you once again for your time. And like, seriously, Julie, Julia, I'm sorry. Please come on the show. <laughs> awesome. I'm sure she will. Well, okay. thank you. It was very nice of you to have us. Yeah, and and we will here. subscribe. <laughs> it was fun. What? We will subscribe. Oh, yes. Please, please do. <laughs> hit, hit, hit that like button, too. I think I get three cents. What yeah. was that? I said hit the like button. I, I put that on a... a interview i just posted i said hey guys hit the like button because i think i get three cents each time but oh that, cool. that's okay. not that true. like uh, putting songs out there you get pennies on your songs yeah. Same well, that's it eh? with spotify mm -hmm. and stuff like you got mm -hmm. a million streams or whatever to make any real money right right yeah like 15 right. bucks 
Yeah. <laughs> right. For a billion. Ridiculous. Right. Yeah. It is. It's sad. That's all right. We're we're here to make music and yeah. we're doing what we love. That's and you know what? what it's about. It's the music that lasts forever, not the money. Yes, you know this is saying? true. But money helps. <laughs> out there in our universe, that music's floating around forever. That's why yeah. it's important to release nothing. quality stuff. And that's why it takes Madame X so long. Because mm -hmm. we want to make sure it's great. I want it to be great. We won't yeah. release a turd. No turd. No that's polish. Right. Leave, it out to, leave that up to Chris. On stage. To <laughs> He's a turd producer. <laughs> He's so full of shit. Oh my God. <laughs> and I mean that in a good way, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I know you do. All right. Thanks, ladies. You get, you guys have been awesome. And um, I'll get this uh, interview Ready to go, and I'll send it to you uh, probably tomorrow. Sounds right, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. Bye.